One thing I love getting the opportunity to put on display on my channel is a good tactical pack. In this one, we're gonna be looking at a really nice one from Three Pigeons. Stick around. I hope you're doing well, my friend. I hope your family's doing well. And as always, I wanna thank you for taking time to stop in. I hope you find this content helpful. On my channel thus far, I've reviewed a couple of really great packs like the SOG Ninja Day Pack and also a really nice range bag from Votogoo. I'm really excited about this bag from Three Pigeons. In fact, they reached out to me a while back wanting to partner up and I looked through their catalog and I asked them if they'd give me an opportunity to review this pack and they most definitely did. This is the one we're gonna be looking at today. This is one gorgeous pack. Now that badge, you can take that off. It's Velcroed on there, but they've got this in black or in tan. This is constructed with a water resistant, high density fabric with a very large capacity to carry up to days worth of gear. This thing's got some heavy duty zippers and utility cord pulls for easy access all across the pack. It's equipped with side and front compression straps and a ventilated mesh back. So let's dive inside of this thing and take a look at its many compartments. You obviously have a lot of mounting abilities right here on the front. You open this front pocket, you've got a deep pocket here in the front, but you've also got all of these pockets right here. Up above this big front pocket is this pocket and you've got all of this to work with. So let me show it to you from this angle because you get a better look from this direction. Once we get past these front compartments, we can open up this first big section. You can see all the space you have here along with these pockets, but it doesn't end there because we can open up this section and there is yet another gigantic area to put a ton of things. Pockets along this side, pockets along this side. So you've got this big section, this big section, and then these front sections. You've got the ability to hang and mount things on both sides. And there is even another large compartment here on the back of it. Of all the packs that I have reviewed thus far, this definitely has the most storage in it. This just has so many different compartments and pockets. I mean, you're loaded with a ton of room here in the front, a pockets here, just a nice big section here in the front. This is stacked with two big sections, just full of pockets. Some packs just have that one big section. This has two big sections with just massive pockets in it for the ability to store so many things and storage on the back of this. This thing allows you to store so much stuff. You have to be careful when you're packing it because you want to be able to actually strap this thing to you. It's just a very sharp looking pack. You can mount this thing across the chest and across the front just to have a secure setup. Man, you've got so much you can carry around with this pack. And I think this thing has the size and the compartments to be a good get home or bug out bag, which they're not the same thing. A get home bag and a bug out bag are really ultimately two different setups. A get home bag is more of a short term setup, whereas your bug out bag is gonna be a little more long term. As far as what to put in your get home bag and what to put in your bug out bag, it's going to be subjective because everybody's got different things that are important to them. Online, you can find all kinds of tips with regards to how to do your get home bag or your bug out bag. There's lists of things that you can pack. It's quite extensive really when you start really thinking about what you might need if you're gonna be out days at a time or if it gets to be bad enough, depending upon the situation. But, you know, your main necessities is what you want to think about first, such as, you know, water, fire, food, shelter, protection, first aid, and things like that. And the list goes on. It's good to have more than one pack. People will keep their get-home bag in their car. It's just an emergency pack, something you can strap on in case you have to make a journey on foot. Then it's good to have a separate pack with bug-out bag items. It's good to have those things separate if you can. If you're one of those people that really wants to be prepared but you know you can also have those small packs for just those day trips i use my sog ninja day pack for just those quick trips quick hiking trips where i'm going to be gone just for a day and i need to take a few things with me something i'm planning on doing in the near future is a video strictly devoted to putting together a get home bag i'll do another video for bug out bags and all of the rest so i plan to kind of do a small series 
on that in the near future. I didn't want to do that in this video as I wanted to primarily focus on the review of this pack, which I'm so impressed with. It's just got so much room for storage. There's so much that you could put in this. I think this thing would be good just for day-to-day -day hiking, a bug out bag or a get home bag. I will drop a link in the description for you to be able to go out and take a look at this pack and pick it up if you like. I think it's priced very well for what it is. I wanna say it's usually around 50 bucks and that's only about $15 more than I paid for my SOG pack, which has a lot less storage in it. You know, whether it's apocalyptic or just day-to-day -day stuff, this pack will take good care of you. You know, when they gave me an opportunity to review something from their catalog, this was the first thing that drew my attention because I love these tactical packs, um, especially one like this. And I wanted to get out here and put this in front of you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.